Classification of Plant Calls In this lecture, we will study about the classification of plant calls on the basis of structural organization and also on the, on the basis of the position of the galls and the type of gall development. Let us start. Rofrix and Williams distinguish two basic type of plant galls on the basis of structural organization. These galls are organoid galls and histoid galls. The organoid galls are represented by a swelling callus like growth which is usually induced by insects and fungi. The second type is histoid galls. The galls of the histoid type exhibit a great variety of abnormal structures. The growth pattern of the host organs are changed and the rearrangement or induction of new types of tissues occur in this histoid galls. The histoid galls can further be divided into two types. These are cataplasmic galls and prosoplasmic galls. The cataplasmic galls are amorphous and they vary in their volume and extent. These cataplasmic galls are less organized and differentiated from the host body. They consist mainly of different layer of histological homogeneous parenchyma. Generally, the hemiptera insects, hemiptera, insects belonging to the hemiptera induce the cataplasmic galls. While the prosoplasmic galls are highly organized, they have a definite size and a definite shape. Histologically, these prosoplasmic galls are more complex and composed of differentiated tissues. Although the degree of tissue differentiation is variable and dependent on the inducing insect. On the basis of the position of the gall and the type of gall development, E. Custer in 1903 proposed a classification of plant galls. And this classification includes the leaf galls only. Let us start. This is the healthy leaf lamina. And this is the lamina which possesses gall. This is the hairy gall, also known as Phil's gall. The Phil's gall or hairy gall are characterized primarily by hairy epidermal outgrowth. And this outgrowth is induced by the insects or other inducer. The second type of gall is Mark gall. In this type of gall, the eggs are deposited on the plant surfaces. Then the first insta larva, larvae penetrates the tissue and it proliferates inside the tissue and surround it completely. The third type of gall is discoid or vesicular gall. This type of gall is also known by other names such as pit galls. These galls are characterized by slight depression. And in this depression, the insects feed on plant tissue. Sometimes surrounding a protruding halo. 
Sometimes the epidermis forms a vesicular. That's why it is called vesicular gall. The fourth type of gall is pouch gall. This is also a pouch gall. In this type of gall, tissue growth occur in a restricted area around the larvae, producing an invagitation by differential growth on one side of the leaf blade. The gall tissue may have a different degree of differentiation and the epidermis of the larval chamber originates from the epidermis of the plant body. The fifth type of gall is roll gall and fold gall. This is the roll gall and this is the fold galls. These roll galls and fold galls present differential growth and this differential growth is caused by the feeding habits of the insects. This results in winding or twisting or folding of the leaves. Sometimes the leaves also get swollen. The next type of gall is covering gall. In this type of gall, the insect become encapsulated within the gall. This is the insect and it get encapsulated inside the gall. Which may present an opening. There is also an opening of the gall called ostiole. And it opens to the exterior in cocoid galls. Sometimes this ostiole is absent as in synip, synip gall. The another type of gall is the another type of gall is rosette and the bud gall. This is the healthy apical shoot and in this rosette and the bud gall there is a proliferation and miniaturization of new leaves. Also, there is a shortening of internodes also occur. As a result, a pine cone-like gall is formed. So, in this way, we see that different types of galls are formed on the leaves by different types of insects. For further reading, I would like to suggest a paper named Gall Inducing Insects from Anatomy to Biodiversity by G. Wilson Fernandez, Marco A. A. Caraniero and Rosie M. S. Isias. Thank you for watching.